name's Terry and I'm the founder of Why So Serious, uh, which is basically a luxury fashion brand based on culture and politics from around the world. So Why So Serious, the name, um, one of my collections at university was based on circus freaks. Um, it was a lot of kind of uh, laughing clowns, a lot of sinister things going on in, in this collection. Um, it was a lot of decomposed garments and why so serious um, just came into that as kind of a catchphrase as part of that that theme and I loved it from then on I wanted to make sure it was based on things that matter in the world not on you know silly things like what the sea looks like or flowers or things like this you know we take so much from cultures now in fashion especially we take so much um, images and they get nothing in return and it's just really important i think to take inspiration from them and give back so i want to make sure that the brand does give back to charities for example the one behind me obviously is based on haiti um, i want to give back to the haiti fund with the sales that i make it's really important i think that i do that with every collection <laughs> Brilliant. I mean, I, I came from a very small town in Lincolnshire, so I moved over to London. It was like the place to be. You want to do fashion, you come to London. Um, the uni was great. People, you know, it's not recognised as one of the top fashion universities, but all the tutors are in their own businesses and they're very well known in the industry. I knew people were saying, you know, it's either uni or work experience, you do one or the other. And I wanted to make sure that I did both. I did a lot of internships during during uni. They all kind of connected, you know, they say I met one person at one internship, he put me in touch with the next internship and the next and it was it was brilliant. So. And I think I always knew at the back of my mind I wanted to do this. Um, it kind of became clearer as uni went on. I definitely just don't want to work for someone else and, and kind of push down my creativity and my ideas and my passion and put it into someone else's work and you know it might sound selfish but I just want to make sure that I put it all into my own brand and make that successful. She looks awesome, I think it looks amazing. Yeah she just looks great you know like the hair, the makeup, she looks really kind of animal like. <laughs> been selling online at the moment with like ASOS Marketplace, Etsy, um, a couple of online boutiques have approached me as well like Swoon Collection which is in America, um, Perry Nelville which is a really cool website and where's London of course. <laughs> um, so I've been selling there and Spitalfields Market as well but I definitely want to get into small boutiques and try and get it bigger. <laughs> I aim to sell to 18 to 35 year old women um, in successful media jobs or creative industry. I want them to feel different. I think they should, everyone should feel unique. Everyone should feel like they're making, you know, people are staring at them for the right reasons. Um, and also I want them to feel um, pride. And, you know, they're wearing something that is donating to the Haiti Fund. I think it's really important that you walk down the street knowing that you're, that you're, you're doing that just by purchasing something from the brand. <laughs> challenge and it's an ongoing challenge is is like the overall grasp of a brand it's the fact that without help you've literally got to be 20 different people you've got to you know do admin design research um, promotion marketing you have got to have all these skills in in yourself um, until you obviously get the funding to bring other people in to do that and like I was telling you earlier, the Prince's Trust funding was definitely a big milestone for me. Um, it's, it just means that I can go even further with the brand. I'm not being held back by funding or anything like that. So that was a big one. <laughs> um, Spitalfields was the first place that I actually sold in person. And that first sale in Spitalfields Market was 
was like, oh my god, thank god. <laughs> you know, thank god they're actually can, they're here, they can see my product and they like it, thank god. And it was just kind of every sale after that, it was like another milestone. Kate Nash was amazing, um, it was kind of like a calling day for designers. And took this one garment with me and walked in, there was maybe three other designers there that had these whole collections and I thought, oh god, I've only got one thing with me. Um, and she just came in, she was chatting to everyone, she was so lovely, um, she just took a load of stuff on it and tried it on, came back and was like, yeah, I love it, it's going to look brilliant on stage, I'm going to move around, it's going to like twirl around. She was so happy and she hugged me, she was like, thank you so much, she's just such a lovely girl. Um, look out for us, we've got funding now, so we're going to be going, you know, hopefully higher and higher, um, just keep, keep in touch, hopefully we'll be big before you know it. <laughs>